spotted by a carnivore, it's already too late. Come here. Look, there's food right here. Mr. Carno? Let's see how he reacts to me being cute and adorable. being a tackle, living the good life. <laughs> They're right behind me. I mean, I, I could probably hide right here. Oh shit, T-Rex is coming back. That Stego's gonna hate me. Protect me, man! Protect me! Haha! -ha. Oh, no. My head's poking out. <laughs> Once again, another carnivore succumbs to my charms. I'm gonna slow him down, you run, I'm gonna slow him down. Hello guys, Crawl here, welcome to a new episode of The Isle, and notice how I said new episode rather than episode 6, that's because I'm starting a new series, because right now Sandbox has been disabled, so I'm forced to play progression, and I didn't really want to mix my progression videos with my Sandbox videos, so that's why I'm starting a new series, this will be episode 1 of my Carnivore progression series. I'm also going to do a uh, progression series where I play only herbivores. I've actually already started uh, recording footage uh, playing herbivore, but there was not enough going on. It was way too easy. I progressed from Taco to Anki in about two hours, and that was without a single encounter. Like, it was way, way too easy. So, for this episode, I'm just going to show uh, the footage that I recorded from playing carnivores and the second reason why I'm doing that is because I received some requests from two of my subscribers on YouTube one of them one of them <laughs> one of them wow one of them is called uh, Neef Parker and uh, the second one is Titan Jenkins uh, both of them asked me or requested that I play Carnotaur and uh, Neef Parker also requested that I play Utah Raptor, so I can't really answer those requests right now because that would be for my uh, sandbox series uh, where I play only one dinosaur for an entire episode and uh, since sandbox is disabled I can't really answer those requests right now but as soon as sandbox is back I will don't worry I will make a full episode where I play Utah Raptor and I will make a full episode where I play Carnotaur but until then I can try and uh, you know kind of answer that request by playing a carnivore progression series where I try and progress to Utah Raptor and progress to Carnotaur. It's gonna be hard. I can't promise that I'm gonna make it, but I'm gonna try. And uh, the thing that makes it super hard right now is that because it's so easy to progress as a herbivore, because all you gotta do is connect to the server during the slow times when there's not many players online. You have free roam over the entire island, you have free roam over all of those patches of blue and red bushes that you can eat and earn progress points and you have free roam over every lakes on the island that allows you to progress to the top tier herbivores super easily and then uh, when you connect again to that same server when there's a lot of players online and a lot of carnivores online uh, you're already top tier herbivore so all of those little tiny carnivores roaming the island they, they can't touch you they can't do anything to you like you're gonna kick their ass no matter what so they're not gonna mess with you and that forces carnivores to 
hunt each other and, and that makes it really hard uh, for any carnivores to progress so I know like from the footage that I've already managed to record uh, I became Utah Raptor it was hard but I made it and uh, right now my Utah is, is like parked next to a lake and uh, like when I log on again I'm gonna try and keep playing it and you know progress to Carnotaur uh, but at the time of this recording right now uh, as I'm talking to you I don't know what's gonna happen in my Utah I might actually die in the first 10 minutes after I log back on so but I do have a lot of footage from playing the Herrera to show you guys and that's what I'm gonna work on right now and then when I'm done working on this video and it's uploaded then I'm gonna go back to playing my Utah so that being said let's get on to the action I hope you guys enjoy see you guys in the video well uh, let's just hope I can manage to progress to those two dinosaurs and uh, like I spawned right here I think this is uh, triplets I'm not sure but I think this is triplets and uh, I spawned right next to it I, I didn't even know there was a spawn location next to triplets oh shit okay I guess you want me I don't know why I couldn't bite them. I mean... I guess lag had something to do with that, but usually I can manage to bite stuff. Now this time, like, they were biting me like it was no problem. I couldn't touch them for shit. So hopefully uh, this is not representative of how things are going to be. seeing something I don't know what it is but I'm seeing something 
And from the way that it's bouncing, I'm gonna guess it's a Diablo, but uh, I really can't be sure. What is this thing? Yeah, I still think it's a Diablo. He's heading towards the Red Forest. Now I can track him. <laughs> I think he might have seen me. It's easy for them to find food. It's super hard for us carnivores to find food. There he is. Don't know if you saw me or not. I was definitely taking on a bigger dino. My plan was to try and just, you know, keep him bleeding for as long as he he's alive, pretty much. And then when he finally starts limping, then maybe try and finish him off. Uh, that would have been a long hunt. But yeah, one bad move cost me my life, so. <laughs> What's coming here? Oh, shit. I am not food for you. Let's see what he's gonna do. No. Can I 
outrun you. I don't think that's an adult. I think that's a sub-adult. Okay, so you're not gonna leave me alone, are you? Okay, my best bet then is the forest. joys of being small. I don't know, maybe he thinks I can't see him? <laughs> He's the one who can't see me right now. locations for pretty much all the lakes for v3 it didn't have the name of the lake so when it comes to triplets I have no idea where to find that one uh, but I do have a lot of different locations for different lakes I have 10 11 12 locations to check out so right now I'm at minus 210 positive 76 so I'm gonna try and reach uh, negative 450 positive 10 uh, no negative 450 negative 102 I'm gonna try and head there see if I can reach that without dying and uh, hopefully I'll be finding some prey for me to eat over there so here we go is right there. So there should be a lake right in front of me right now. I think there is. Shit. There's some big carnivores in the area. Hopefully I can manage to get a sip of water without being spotted. I see an aloe. I see a rex and a juvie, I think. I see something laying down. Or maybe it's just dead. Holy shit. There's 
there's a lot of people here. I be that lucky. <laughs> yes. Okay. when I know there's a lot of predators in the area. Yeah, I don't think he saw me. That Rex looks like he's looking for action, for sure. So if you guys know the name of that lake, please mention it in the comments so that I can write the name next to the, uh, the chords on my piece of paper here. So I can finally know how to identify each lakes by their names. Something over there in the distance. Looks smaller than whatever is laying down over there. I don't know what it is. I mean, I, I got a full belly, and I'm good on water for now, but I know I don't have enough to progress to the next tier. I need the 120 points. I don't, I don't think I'm going to reach that with the amount of food and water I got. I'm going to need to drink at least two more times, and I'm going to need to eat again for sure. Something small coming my way. I think it's a nostril. Or it might be another Herrera, but I think it's a nostril. Yeah, that's a nostril. Oh, you... You saw me, I'm pretty sure. Sorry it's gonna be really bright for a while, but it's, it's getting a bit too dark for me to just use normal vision. You can 
didn't start as a juvie now, so there's a lot of juvies. <laughs> Used to be like you had to progress like twice before reaching that point, but now you can start as a juvie, so... It's like everybody just wants to be a Rex right now. It's all just carnivores around this lake. There's no herbivores except for the puerta. stay here much longer. I mean, it's all carnivores. Nothing small enough for me to hunt except for the juvies. I'm pretty sure I'd be like on par with the juvies. I can turn faster than they do, so... I mean, I'm sure they do more damage to me than I do to them, but I'm, anyway, I'm sure I could kill a juvie. I just don't want to risk it. Something right there. I'm gonna take a guess and say that's a juvie. There seems to be something else next to it. Maybe not. I need to make sure, because, uh,. Like, if I can kill this thing and just, pre like, yeah, it's going to be hard to protect it and make sure nothing else comes to eat it, but... It's not smart going AFK when you're near a lake. Like, I don't care if you're AFK or not, I need to survive here, so... So I've had two very unsatisfying meals, I mean, I found one underwater, and then this one I was killing someone that was AFK, so not much about this that is satisfying. progression so you take what you can get a juvie just passed by and didn't even bother eating apparently he obviously did not know I was hiding in this bush he can't see me I have no reason to chase him right now because I got food laying right there. Just waiting for me to eat it. But if he had tried and steal my meat, I would have probably attacked him. Because this might ensure that I will be able to progress. If that disappears, then... My progression becomes unsure once again, and I don't like this idea at all. <laughs> That's my 
my meat. Because the game is so laggy that How did I just spawn in the middle of a puerta herd? Oh my god, everybody's already a puerta here. Like... A server with so many puertas means that, uh, that those those players have been left alone for way too long. Like nobody's been hunting them, and they've just had free roam for like four hours, and all became puertas. gonna stay here obviously none of these will become food for me yeah I knew there was another one so that's one two three four and then five over there <laughs> kind of looked like his neck kind of looks like the the trunk of that tree that's over there but that's a port uh, right there so there's five of them right in the same spot and then there's a Shantu over there. So these are all herbivores I can't hunt. There's something over there. Looks a lot smaller, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's probably a Diablo. I think it's safe to say that I lost him. There's something small over there. Might be another Herrera. Oh, it's a Utah. No? It's a nostril. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, lots of small carnivores here. Obviously, carnivores are kept small because we actually need to hunt for a living. Unlike these big guys right here, who don't need to hunt at all. Oh, so... <laughs> I actually thought these footsteps were, uh... I'm gonna help the Ostro and hope that... Defending the Juvie, like for real? Really? You're not gonna let me go eat it? Seriously? Don't go there, man. He's gonna kill you. Guarding that corpse. Fucking asshole. What are you gaining from protecting a corpse? From keeping us from. Like, seriously. That guy's just trolling us. He's got nothing to gain from doing this. Nothing. It was carnivores hunting carnivores, leaving these big guys completely alone to do whatever they wanted. That's another Ostro coming over there, then I better I better go away because the two Ostros are gonna start seeing me as food.
the you, you have a death wish or something? Why are you doing that? Never mind, I know what he's, why he's doing that. He's doing it because he can. Share with me, man. That was cool. I mean, the part where we actually fought, the rest was boring. I guess the Rex just gave up. He was like, okay, I can't win this. Let's just finish this.
moment these guys get hungry. I'm the one who's gonna die first, so I'm gonna go hide in the forest. 